Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Conley. I'm home like you and I was thinking maybe you'd like me to share a story with you. And I have a favorite book that I really want to share with you. It's called The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. So let's get started. Moms and dads, I apologize for any in unintended comedy that might come with this reading. Okay, here we go. The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. Looks like a spider. <clears throat> Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. There it is. Nay, nay, said the big horse. You want to go for a ride? <clears throat> the spider did not answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Looks like there's a shape she's starting to make. Can you see it? <clears throat> moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider did not answer. She was very busy spinning her web. I think I see her spinning some more triangles here. bleated the sheep. Oh, want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Wow, do you think it looks bigger? I think so. You know what these shapes are that I'm tracing with my finger? I think they look like triangles. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? Guess what? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Does it look bigger to you? I think it does. Look at that. The triangles are getting bigger. She's in the middle. I wonder what she's going to do next. grunted the pig. Oh, Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Now look at what she's doing. She's in the center. Looks like she's going around. I wonder what shape that looks like. I think it looks like a circle. <clears throat> Up the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Wow, look at this center now. She got really far. She looks like she's just going around and around. Hmm. cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Wow, look at this. That center is just getting bigger and bigger. And bigger circles. Called the duck. I want to go for a swim. The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. 
what do you think about that wig? It's very, very, you just think it's very big? And what about the center? Does it look like a huge circle? Cock-a-doodle-doo, -doo, crowed the rooster. Wanna catch a pesky fly? The spider caught the fly in her web just like that. Wow. Ooh, ooh, asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very busy day. Look at that beautiful web. It's nighttime, right? How can you tell it's nighttime? What color do you see? You see blue and purple and black. And look it up here, the spider. She's sleeping. And look at that beautiful web. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. I thought maybe, um, parents, if you wanted to extend the lesson, you can maybe make your own spider web with your children. Um, I have some materials at home that you might have too. Maybe you have a paper plate, and what you can do is you can cut a hole in the middle of the paper plate, and then your children, under your guidance, can snip some holes, or I should say slots, sorry about that, some slots, little, little slots all around the outside of the plate. And I had some twine in my house, maybe you don't have twine, maybe you have ribbon, maybe you have um, some yarn, <laughs> and have your child take this and Put it through each slot and just randomly go around the plate. No special order. And when you're done, you'll have a spider web. Pretty cool, right? And you know, maybe if you want, you can even take that circle that you had, have your mom or dad cut it into a smaller circle, and then draw a spider. Spider has eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you could put your spider on your web. Bye, guys.